but the student population is, uh, is enormously diverse, so it's it's hard almost to segment, and it's it's easy to, to generalize. And so it's uh, within Europe, and you see of course enormous mobility uh, throughout the continent, but also from the continent to the UK. I'm very curious also to see what kind of role Brexit will play into this whole phenomena of European students moving around. I think more and more the, the global student is also coming into play and, and for cities it will be more and more interesting to do very particular destination marketing to attract uh, students from certain countries um, and it will also ch shape of course student living. It's, um, but again it's hard to, to dedicate your typology, yeah, your, your, your property to a certain group. I think flexibility uh, I think is key. I would say that also technology plays a huge role in integrating this diverse body of students. So I would, I would warn and be a bit skeptical even on, on segmenting the student body too much because I think it will make your, your properties uh, either too in, inflexible or, and, and because of that not future proof enough. Well, my, my niece is still very young, so I'm, it's hard to imagine her studying. Um, but but I, was, I would almost even, even counter with the question like, will she even study like, in a physical place at all? I, I think first of all learning will be highly virtual in, within 20 to 25 years. But even following uh, um, SpaceX going to the moon, that might even be the next destination of universities in a global scale.